Hey, Fisherman, AquaDuelist here, and I'm back with the one, the only. That's right. Steven. Steven, what, what you got for us today, man? Today, we're going over my favorite deck. This is easily the one I played the most. It's Zodiac Eldritch. And uh, as you can tell, got that new, uh, what you call it? Akiza Limited Edition Easter Bunny Field Center. Uh, not his, as mine. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't mess with that hentai shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, gonna move that out. Maybe a little bit on the weekends, but, you know. <laughs> and let's go ahead and get into this, Steven, man. All right, so start with the main, of course, because what else would we start with? All right, so for the Zodiac stuff, we got Zodiac Ram Ram, because it has the effect where... If your Dryden is on there, or whatever Zodiac, but it's going to be Dryden usually. Uh, if a target, if a trap card targets it, you can just detach and negate it. All right. And it's also 2,000 defense, so it's the biggest defense uh, Zodiac. Then we play one Whiptail um, because if your opponent battles it, the monster that battles it damages it, so uh, damages it, banishes it, and that can come up a lot of times. You can just grab that because we have the searches with it for it and you just attack their monster that's a problem and then main phase two you can go off doesn't uh doesn't whip tail have an ulti yeah i need one oh, yeah. so that's, somebody, i was like it's like i think that one has an ulti somebody matter. donate me one please donate this man an do, ulti it, do it for the channel do it for the channel i'm gonna use it so <laughs> then we got zodiac thoroughblade which is cool because it's uh 1600 so it's the biggest attack oh, and it worked though and yeah and also you can uh, discard a draw one, so I feel like everyone would know that. And then it can also do uh, piercing. Okay. Then we play one barrage. Um, Loki, you should play this at three because no one's ever going to see you have more than one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it's easily one of the best cards in the deck. And if this ever comes back to three, everyone else is in for a good time. I was going to say, I remember a time when it was at three. I'm in for a good time. I don't know about everybody else. And then to wrap up the Zodiac main deck, we have uh, the three tanky, which obviously is going to grab you any of the zoos. So basically, you're playing you're playing six rams and then four of the others because if you get this, you can grab anyone you want, and no one ever ashes it because they don't know what you're playing if you're playing Tri Brigade or whatever. So I mean, sometimes you'll get ash, but going first, it's not really going to matter getting ash or not. You're just going to be without the Dryden. So that's it for the Zodiac stuff. So then. We play the Eldritch part of the deck, which is just two. Um, playing three is good, but I feel like in the Zodiac version, definitely just play two. You never want to open it. And um, pe banishing's not really an issue. I mean, you still have your Zodiac engine to do the thing, so if they banish one, it's like, eh. But you could definitely play three if you want. And then we got three Curse Eldland. Another one of the best cards in the deck. A lot of cards in this deck is really good, so you're probably going to hear me say that a lot. But the Eldland, you know, to search your um, Eldritch Monster or a Golden Land. And then when it's sent to Grave, you can dump a Golden Land or an Eldritch Monster. So. You know, the, uh, the artwork kind of reminds me of, uh, was it like uh, Castle Strong, uh, Strong Burn, something like that? Yeah, and then this also works really well with Dryden Effect, because you have Dryden, you detach one to pop a face-up card. So you can do some crazy stuff if you have this and you have Dryden and you yeah. just pop this and get the graveyard effect. So it works really well. But then we play three uh, Eldlixer of Scarlet Sanguine. So this is going to summon your Eldlix from the deck. And also it will grab you your, um, your Golden Land traps um, at any time in the turn. This one does not have to be on the end phase. The Golden Land traps do have to be on the end phase, but this one you can do whenever. So. Okay. You're going to get a lot of people, if you play this, like, oh, it's not the end phase. Well, it doesn't fucking matter because it's Sanguine, not one of the Golden Lands. And then here is something a lot of people don't play, but it's actually really good. So um, our boy Alex at Let's Rev It Up, he uh, he put me on this. So we play Elixir White Destiny. There's White Destiny and there's Black Destiny. Black Destiny will grab from the deck, but it, it's not a quick play. And once you do these, it locks you out of uh, special summoning anything other than the uh, zombie monsters, which is why you want to do this on your opponent's turn, so it's a quick play. So, And you can also grab it with the Golden Lands because it's an Elixir card. But okay. just one because we don't want to open that. We'll just, we, we'll just grab it with the uh, Golden Lands. So we play three Conquistador. 
and two Hawk Hero. So um, Hawk Hero will banish one from the grave if you have Eldritch on the field, and a Conquistor will pop one on the field um, if you have Eldritch. So you can just chain link one, one of these, and then uh, chain link two the Sanguine, and that's I mean, that's going to be a pop or a banish from the grave. Hawk Hero, you can play at three if you want, because a lot of the decks do graveyard stuff. So if you just chain that, banish it from the graveyard, then you'll be all right. It um, it works well against dinos when they um, use the mist quick effect to protect the dinos from targeting or right. effects. I mean, so you would just banish that to try to not let them get the UCT out. But that's just one example. So that's it for the uh, Eldritch stuff and Zodiac stuff. And then we play a ton of tech cards. So, oh man, the spice! Yeah, the spice. So, um, see um, the spice. All right, so we got three drolls. Easily the best hand trap, I think. Um, especially if you have a lot of decks in your pool that are constantly adding, that'll usually stop them for a turn. So, so do you prefer droll over ash? Right now, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we do side ash because there are some decks that droll does nothing to, but ash will stop. But most of the decks, droll is going to make them stop. So, like, just. Format changes, like, do you still just prefer Droll in general? Um, if we if we had a ton of decks that only that was hurt by Ashmore, I would main. Okay. Now, all, all these are interchangeable. So on the side deck, you're not going to take any of the these out, usually. Yeah. Um, I, I, I just figured it out because, you know, I actually don't. You, you've never told me which one you like more, Ash yeah, or Droll. Yeah, definitely Droll right now. Because, okay. I mean, that just always comes up. A lot of the decks, I mean, Casey's locals. I mean, Ash doesn't even hurt him. So, I mean, you'll Ash him, and they just still go off and make a huge board. But Droll can stop a lot of decks, especially Dragon Link, which is the bane of everyone's existence. I feel like no matter which one people hit me, it's like when they hit me with one, and like I'm playing with a deck that, you know, like Droll, like it doesn't matter if I get Droll or they Ash me. It's like it doesn't matter if I get Ash. Right, like, for sure. For I'm sure. constantly, like, they hit me with the wrong ones all the time. That's I what's feel. cool about this, uh, this deck is... It's a small window for hand traps. Like, they better use their interruptions ASAP. So okay. they hold on to them, they'll miss their chance. So then we play some back row removal, Cosmic Cyclone, three of them. Uh, and the Cyber Dragon deck, uh, I talked about playing two of these and one Harvey Feather Duster. But for this deck, you just want the quick effect. So, and you mean you're going to be paying life points out the ass anyway. So if it's up to you, they're not going to do any life point damage because you have all the interruptions. I ballparked this man way too much. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So um, then we play Book of Moon, which is slept on. I mean, a lot of people know about it um, being played currently, but it's just too good not to play. And then this is another one of the best cards in the deck, Forbidden Droplet. This just takes care of so many problems, especially when you have to go second. Or even going first, because you can set it. It's a quick effect. So obviously, this is like a back row deck. All your stuff's going to be back row. And then we got the Imperms. Another one that people don't think is that good right now, but it most definitely is. Sometimes one imperm can stop a whole turn, and it's really cheap right now. I think it's like fifteen dollars. So yeah, for the uh, gold um, maximum gold print, they're like fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, for sure, it's a really good card. And if we go back to a format where that's well played, it'll be back up expensive I'm, again. I'm just gonna you cool if I say something real quick. Yeah, go ahead. So right now in all my trap decks, I'm playing this and. Uh, what you call a uh, warning point and they're pr they're kind of like pr kind of like the same thing almost and war like warning point oh my god so if warning point's good imperm's good like that's yeah imper imperm is fire oh for yeah sure um and then the last three main deck cards we play are this is some sauce right here the witch's strike Ooh, ooh. so the, Ooh, the spice! This got done to me once, and every, I was like, oh my god, I gotta go buy two more. I already had one, but I picked up the other two, just because um, anybody who knows like the meta or whatever, they're gonna they're gonna negate your zoo summon, and you can just neg their whole board in hand, so... It's a salty feeling when you get when you get witches strike. Yeah, it's a great feeling when you do it to somebody though. It's, Man, it's great. It feels horrible when they do, when when you're on the you know opposite end. And one thing you need to remember, if you play witches strike, it still works after the Solemns, because even though they're counter traps, you're not responding to it. You're nope. just going to activate it right after it resolves. Whole new chain. So that is straight up busted. 
because that's what people are going to negate with usually is the Solemns, 9 times out of 10. So that's it for the main deck. So we'll go to the extra deck. The extra deck is standard AF. Um, let's see if we're going first. So let's start with the Zodiacs. So with the Zodiacs, every Zodiac Eldritch deck plays enough to make Zeus twice. So two Chalk and Iron, and then two Tiger Mortar. You're not really going to use their effects um, in this variant. You're just using it just to climb and make materials. So uh, how old is Tiger Mortar? I don't even want to go there. <laughs> Y'all some pervs out here. That's for real. So um, we got Zodiac Hammer Kong, which is irrelevant. Um, if it's on the field, they have to target that. That has literally come up once ever. And then Dryden. So the reason, the only reason I even play Hammer Kong is because it matches Dryden. Because you can only play one Dryden. Rest in peace. Give us Dryden to three. Nope. You you have one. That's all, right. all you get. Four bull back. Four bull back. Um, so, I talked about earlier, Zodiac Trident is uh, one of your best cards because it's got the pop. So, you can pop your Eldlin or you can pop their stuff on their turn. And it's really good because you can do it on your turn and their turn. You just gotta climb up, make more materials. And then we play a 2 Borbo, which is uh, Auto Zeus because it's gonna attack directly no matter what they got. And that works really well with Forbidden Droplet. If you have a Droplet and a Zoo in hand, you just drop it all their negates, and then you just make Warbo and make Zeus. So, speaking of him, we play two Zeus. Um, a lot of people think they can get away with playing one, and I mean you can, but it is so much better to have two. Like literally, two comes up all the time, especially in the more competitive matchups, because I mean people are ready for this shit, but they're hardly ever ready for two. So then, to wrap up the XYZs, we'll play some Sauce here. And if you know, you know. We got the Livy and the Gustav. So, if you can get both of your Eldishes out, you can overlay them. Summon that, detach, burn your opponent for uh, 2k. Then you can summon Livy, detach to make him 6,000. And he can attack up to the number of materials he has on him, plus one. So... I, then I was weary about uh, adding these, but man, it has come up so much. So, and especially with this deck, it kind of lacks the aggression. So you definitely should play these. I think I'm gonna play them. And then we play for the Lynx, which don't really matter, but Lynx Spider and Nightmare and Unicorn, or not Nightmare, but Phoenix and Unicorn. These are to get your um, your Golden Land spells and traps and grave. So, um, you can play Dragoon also, but, I mean, I'm not playing that. I, I think it running the bricks in the deck sucks for this one, especially because it just takes away from what the deck's trying to do. You're not even playing that many effect monsters anyway. You know, you're going to be using them to make Zeus, and Eldritch, you're going to try to make these. So, yeah, that wraps it up for the extra deck. And since this is a deck I play all the time, we will be going over the side deck. This man bringing in that side. Yeah, so... Gas card, Alpha Master of Beasts. Casey uses it in his Ballpark deck, so he's and I absolutely wreck with it. Yeah, he's explained how good it is. It's a free out to Dragoon. You just summon it and smack him. See this card? It says "fuck you." Yeah, it's fire for sure. <laughs> Fuck so, you. I'm take. I'm I'm back to the hand. Yeah, for real. And uh, um, my whole side deck is. Well, not my whole, but a lot of it is just Dragoon Hate, so these specifically. Um, and if you guys actually don't have these, I'd highly recommend it just because being able to essentially, you know, bounce some, or special summon bounce, then special summon it again as an extender, and it's like level 8. Yeah. So that's like great right there for so many things. Like and it's I, a beater, you know, I, it helps with the aggression. Yeah, I, I've talked about this card so much, I just can't stress enough how good it is. Like, it is really it's good. not even super expensive. I think this card's, like, what, still around, like, 30 or less? Yeah, I, I picked it up when it was 25. Yeah, so I, I picked it. I think it jumped a little bit, but I think it's back down to, like, 30 I, or so. I picked mine up when they were, like, 27, so. Yeah, definitely buy them, because that card yeah. is fire. You could, you could even main deck this. But I just tied it because yeah. I don't need it much, you know. And then we'll go to the next card, which is uh, Dark Ruler No More. Which, I know it's weird to play Droplet and Dark Ruler, but I hate Dragoon. 
So, I mean, I'll play all six of them hoes in there <laughs> just to try to draw one just to beat Dragoon. So, I think Droplets is better, but Dark Ruler is still really good. And with this deck, it doesn't matter about losing your battle phase because you're just trying to hit them with all the interruptions, make them to where they can't play. Yeah. And then uh, Lancia, which should be in every side deck because every deck vanishes. So, yeah. I mean, literally every deck, this will hurt. So, it's definitely a really good side deck card. And I'm. When I bought these, they weren't that expensive, so I don't know what they are now, but the secret, I think I paid like four bucks for a piece. You know a deck it doesn't really hurt, though? What? Ballpark. True. But who's going to be playing that shit anyway? There's like Me. There's like 50 ballpark players in the world, so, I mean, if you have to deal with that, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, and then, like we talked earlier, side deck the Ash, because there is some matchups where Ash is just really good and droll does nothing and All vice right. versa and then to wrap it up three skullmeister for those graveyard decks this card is slept on it's super gas it's not really slept on because everyone knows what it does but i definitely i used to main deck it i can't remember i think i took it out for witch's strike just because witch's strike is funny but <laughs> so yeah you just negate the graveyard effect and it's really great works well all right so uh steven Thank you very much, man, for bringing yeah. this this deck on, or, uh, the, yeah, this deck on the channel. I'm sorry, guys. I'm I can't speak. It's like two in the morning as we're recording. It's late as hell. We come over here and play, and then we try to make videos after yeah. we're serious. So yeah, that's why the camera's shaking a little bit. Like we're 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 tired. We're tired, man. Yeah, so. for sure. So guys, thank you all so much for making it to the end of the video. And, uh, guys, don't forget to harpoon that subscribe button. really helps the channel out. Yeah, cause show my deck some love or most, show some hate. I don't really care. <laughs> most opinion. of the views on this channel are from non-subscribers. So, you know, we can get some more subscribers. That'd be cool. And uh, don't forget to harpoon that like button. Yeah, if you look the channel up and watch the videos and don't subscribe, respect. Because that, that's the ultimate troll, which, you know, we just went over the troll deck. So, so and, um... Yeah, comment any comments y'all have. Link description down below to the uh, Instagram. And we will see y'all in the next video, guys. Yes, sir.